Alright, hey guys, welcome to a special early morning edition of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Um, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, I got a pretty weird stress dream, so yeah, kept me up for some reason. Um, so let's finish this game off while we still have a bit of time, shall we? Alright. On to Zot. So, um, before we start going any serious, doing any serious stuff, let's, let's talk about, um, Let's talk a, a smidge, I suppose, about the channel. I just wanna, I just wanna let people know first of all that uh, on the, I think the banner art, I've implemented some weird custom links thing, and so now you can see a couple of cool things. So first things first is my Discord. Um, you can you can click on that and it just auto invites you. We've already got that in every channel description, but. Hey, it's still nice to have. Um, secondly, we have, I believe, the Greater Player Progress Update. So that's going to be pretty sick. That lets us see, you know, exactly what we need um, to win Greater Player. And that's going to be a multiple instance thing, I guess. I don't know how to explain that. But yeah, you'll be able to see that more than once. Um, excuse me. just need to get myself adjusted. I just started recording because I was basically doing it on a whim. Didn't really think too hard about it. As always, we're diving Zot, but this is kind of a scarier way to dive Zot because, well, A, wow, that, that just happened to us. Wow, that just happened to us. Wow, that, that actually just happened to us in real life. Let's haste here. And grab some allies. Okay. Okay. We need to kill some of this stuff. Like right now. Uh, let's use a file of floods. That didn't work. Uh, crap. Okay, we disintegrated that. That's nice, I guess. Of destruction. Okay, well, that's probably as good as we're gonna get. Okay, so that was a lot of stuff. Um, let's bolt the fire here. Okay, we need to get a servitor. Focus the death cob because that slows us, and that's really bad. Oh my god, our spellforge servitor almost just killed us. Oh god. For some reason, this thing seems a lot more suicidal than it used to be. I don't know what that means. Like, it just seems to want to hit me a lot with, um, all the destruction. That's not fun. Okay, so it looks like the downstairs are all really far away. Uh, let's get some epic orbs of fire. Uh, bolts of fire, sorry. Don't want orbs of fire. Uh, fireball here. Looks like I might have to clear this place, just because seems to be a hassle today. Uh, fireball, poison arrow, poison arrow, nice. Okay. Definitely need some allies with me here. We are taking some heavy hits. Fireball, fireball, bolt of fire, poison arrow, etc, etc. Um, just gonna hope that that thing kills it. Thank you. Okay, let's go back over here. Make our hasty retreat. Even if it takes us a little while. Uh, I have a fire? Yeah. Uh, let's use a potion of magic here. I just don't, I don't know, I don't want to die. And I feel like that tentacled monstrosity over there is going to get us killed. Christ. Okay, well that's... It's most of this floor actually cleared. I might as well just clear the whole thing. Or maybe I can't be bothered. Who knows? One of the two. I'll make up my mind eventually, right? Okay, well let's just clear, I guess. Why not? Got some gloves. We can actually ID what they are on the floor. They're plus one. <laughs> 
Um, anything we want to drop? Probably not. Probably don't need the flail of protection in all honesty. It's a bit of a waste of a slot. Even though it is good, yes. It's still kind of useless. Alright, let's naturally pick the one that's closest to us. Okay, so the three downstairs are all here. So I need to make my way over there. Uh, let's shoot poison arrows in a way that doesn't affect our spellflip servitor. Okay, so this is a, probably a really bad idea, so let's haste up before we do it. Let's go right in, use all grebs right now, get an ally, walk backwards, and just let the all grebs take hold. So my strategy here is just basically let the old grebs do its work. Um, I don't know if it actually works, but I'm hoping it does. Okay, Spellforge server is not doing much. Uh, this is too much of a good bolt of fire to pass up. Fireball here, bolt of fire, come on. Running out of mana, that's fine. Lamp of fire, finish it off. Oh, that was a perfectly straight lamp of fire. You really get those. Uh, tell the Spellforge to focus that thing, because it's really close to us, and we'll back off here. Uh, bolts of fire. Oh, um, no, I'll save it for, the, uh, for later. But I do want to talk a bit about Wigloth, because it seems there's been a Reddit thread that's uh, blown up slightly. And, you know, it's kind of fun to talk about current events. And it seems like the Reddit r uh, slash r uh, slash roguelikes has got a couple of strong opinions about it, apparently. So there you go. Let's see how I weigh in, shall we? But first, let's finish this game up. Let's not get too cocky. Let's run away from the uh, big area in Zop. Don't want to exactly engage that just yet. Rather we just nicely meander our way down and round through this place. Okay, we aren't... Okay, we actually need to probably haste here. This is quite a bad place to be. Uh, yeah, hold the bolt of fire, please. With some nicely timed bolts of fire. Okay, this could actually be really dangerous. We aren't Aralek, and we don't really have a way of getting Aralek either. So it's quite a bad situation for us. Uh, okay, let's fireball here through our own ally. That's fine. Tell him to shoot stuff. That's good. Okay, this is really bad for us. Let's link over here. Uh, Vile of Floods here. Fan of Gales. Didn't work. Okay. Um, Spellforge Servitor. Okay, blinked. That's good. Let's use Orb of Destruction there. Didn't work. One more Orb. Actually, no, let's just back off. Let's be conservative. <sighs> okay. My fear of death is really playing up today. Ow. Yeah. You can kind of see why. Uh, Orb of Destruction and Bolt of Fire hopefully takes care of that stuff. It didn't. Okay. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah, clearing the Zot 5 is not fun as a mage. It's very slow. You basically just run back mana, run back mana, run back mana. Like, and this electricity damage is bloody painful. Let's actually get the Ring of Wizardry off. We don't really need it because it doesn't really do much other than Passage of Calibria, which we don't really care for. Um, probably keep Conjuration. Nah, screw it. We'll turn Conjurations off. Put Translocations in. Conjur oh my god. Let's haste here. Spellforge Servitor. We don't have a lot of health to survive this. So let's just try to get away. Oh my god. Please just kill it. Oh my god. Okay, well. Ow. Yes! Okay, just kill this one. Nice! Double Wolves of Fire gone. 
That was really scary. That was just like, turn the corner, suddenly orbs of fire. That could have been super bad. I guess we can cure Mute out of this. It was, uh, oh wow, we didn't, we lost the 4 int. It's kind of fine, but still. It doesn't actually change much, actually, so it's not a big deal. It just changes, like, hunger and stuff. And maybe a bit of spell power, but it's not as important. We're engorged anyway, so hunger is not a problem. And spell power should be fine as long as we're hasted. Which really does prompt me to, a. Uh... oh crap. Uh, let's get a spell forged up. Just in case we can't kill it ourselves. Make sure to keep the spell forged in between us and the enemy. Bolt of fire finishes it off, right? Rest on the staircase. Uh, can this thing see invisible? No, it can't. Okay, that's pretty bad. Let's go invisible ourselves to not lose the mana. We have two poison arrows to kill the thing. Okay. Okay. Alright, sick. Three poison arrows done. If I was really desperate, I would probably summon something and then attack it and cause it to be in... Uh, Ah, uh, crap. There's another enemy that we don't want to fight. Okay, this should be okay. Orbs of Destruction are very effective at killing Orbs of Fire. Wow, four Orbs of Fire, and we haven't even entered the chamber yet. I'm hoping for a really empty orb. Blew up my own spell forge. That's fine. Okay. It's not quite dangerous enough for me to consider, um, what do you call it? Cure muting just yet, but I'm really tempted to right now because the scrolls taking longer to read is a bit scary. The only reason why I'm not doing that is because uh, it's a very small chance, and I could get something possibly worse, depending. The second recharging scroll fills me with a lot of hope because it basically means that we get an extra couple of haste charges, and that's really sick. Let's get ourselves some allies. Oh my god! Yeah, need to keep that repel muscles up. It's really good. Uh, the RF++ is really strong. That's nice. At least. Christ. Don't kill us, please. Nice. Okay. Well. Let's start making our way up into here, I guess. Kind of hoping that I walk into the area that had the Orb of Fire's teleport from. That'd be really nice. Hoping for a really empty orb chamber would be really good for us. Kind of praying for it because I don't think this character this character has plenty to actually this character has plenty to like just take care of stuff. But obviously every encounter increases the chances of dying just a little bit, and we don't want that, right? Okay, we're getting something on us. It's right next to us. It's fine though. What? Okay. Uh, lamp of fire here. Ugh, fear. Okay, it didn't work. Let's go invisible and drink a potion of magic. Uh, this is a really scary spot to be in. I'm gonna drink a heal wounds just in case. Seems unnecessary, but I'm gonna do it. Alright, good. Sick. Like, I'm at the point where I really don't want to die. I just, just don't, I just want to get through this. For some reason, I've lost my confidence as a player, and that's caused me to play better. And I'm sick of it. I really want to just play like garbage. <laughs> oh boy, losing my confidence as a player is actually a good thing, which is kind of funny. But it does lead to less exciting deaths, right? If I want to not die, I can just play. I can just direct you to. Zed's channel, or Z's channel. Oh god. Don't kill me. He's gonna kill me, isn't he? Uh, let's haste ourselves. He's hasted too. Let's get a spell forged in between us and him. Bolt of fire. Keep killing him, please. Please kill him, Jesus Christ. Let's get a sack of spiders. A random ant or two. Does it hurt? Uh, Bolt of Fire. Oh god. Okay, just drink a potion. It's fine. 
I didn't. I really didn't want to use that potion of magic, but then I realized, wait, I'm almost done with the game, so it's no point. Three is probably enough to do anything in the old form. It's enough mana to kill like most things. Maybe like three panels in a row wouldn't be able to kill, but everything else would handle pretty effectively. Let's back off. This, uh, so this like little area there is always full of guardian orbs or orb guardians. So gonna back off one by one and just pick them off with poison arrow. Very strong, effective strategy. Interestingly enough, we're quite stealthy despite having no stealth. It's pretty weird. I, I did actually want to train stealth in this character, but didn't get a chance to. Uh, let's just hit him with some bolts and stuff. No point in overcomplicating our strategy. Now that we see an enemy behind us, it could be indica indicative of a enemy pack, which means that we want to definitely uh, summon the Spellforge Servitor, because it's, again, mana efficient. Uh, is there any way to hit both of these? Nope. Okay, let's just hit him with a fireball then. That also works. Ah, Spellforge Servitor is so good for mages. Like, I actually rate it really highly now. Um, I might consider making a tier list of sorts, as memeish as that sounds, just for spells, just as a quick reference guide. I might do that to later today, actually. It, it seems kind of good. Um, okay, let's just let's just head out, right? Let's not let's not focus too hard on being dead. Let's just get out of here. Just GD one, no lies. Let's go invisible, just to spook these guys out. Just walk away from stuff. No point in trying to fight stuff. Uh, use Vile Floods here to create some distance. Okay, it's not working. Um, maybe haste will get him out of here. Okay, that's potentially a lot of damage. Okay, turn to be nothing. That's nice. Do love it when things amount to nothing. I don't, but when they're against me, yes, I do. Uh, I'm actually not going to dig there. I don't want to reveal too many tiles. Accidentally murder myself with no real way to escape. I know it sounds really weird, but that's... It's actually sometimes better not to dig, just to maintain your strats. Uh, that's an, that's a lot of enemies. Uh, let's fog here and run for it. It did have blurry vision on it, but that's fine. Just didn't want to fight. Uh, I'm gonna read the scroll of recharging. It has six charges. Okay, that basically secured the game. Uh, let's just go GD one now. No real stress. Okay, that's a bit of stress. Uh, no torment, no summon demon. Please don't be faster than my haste itself. Oh, he had firestorm. Crap. That's fine though. Uh, while we're at it, we might as well cure out of this. Wow, really? Okay. We feel stronger. Thanks, I guess. I mean, that's kind of like a cure mutation potion, but it's not quiet. Okay, just casual GD1. Come on. GD1, please. Oh my god. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, we managed to survive that with pure skill. Had nothing to do with RNG at all. Oh no, it's an orc wizard. Piss off. Why are we corroded? Oh right, because of the ring. Hmm. That could be lethal. Whoa. That's the same configuration of enemies we just saw. Interesting. Uh, we didn't actually fully explore this level, so we might as well... Okay, we need to teleport right now. Let's actually use the wand rather than... Oh, it's Grinder. Holy shit. We need to kill him. Did we get him? We didn't get him. Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to shoot him through the allies. Uh, that was an excellent teleport right there. Good. Brimstone Fiend. That's double Hellfire. That's fine. Let's just get out of here, guys. Let's haste away. Oh my god, that took so much damage from us. Holy crap. Okay, no final bosses in sight. That's nice. Close the door, no stress, and let's get out of here. Whew. Well done, team. We did it. Alright, so, um, let me see. What time is it right now? It's like 19.42. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Wiggler for a second before we do all this other stuff, because I'm sure it'll be relevant at some point. So, if you weren't paying attention to the trunk updates, you, you wouldn't know by now that Wiggler 
and Maud were both removed. Wiglaf was the more contentious of the two amongst the community. It seems like no one gives a crap about Maud, but hey, that's fine. Um, yeah, so Wiglaf got removed. He's the deep, he's the uh, hill dwarf, or sorry, mountain dwarf that has haste and might self, uh, reminiscent of the old Okawara abilities. Uh, and it seems like a lot of people don't like, um, a lot of people don't like Wiglaf uh, being removed, saying that uh, they're bringing up like stuff about like mountain dwarves and stuff and how they're uh, the devs should never have removed them. But as a person who's never actually played um, mountain dwarf, but has seen their stuff and has seen how hilariously bland they were, I honestly don't understand the reasoning behind keeping them other than nostalgia reasons, which for me don't really mean much because I wasn't there. But in all seriousness, like, Hillocks are basically mountain dwarves. They're, they're like pretty much the same thing. I don't understand why people care that much. Um, if anything, like, from what I, from my extensive research into the, into the field without actually playing the mountain dwarf, uh, they were basically just like Hillocks and Minotaurs mushed together. So they just had like kind of good stats and everything. And they were just bland. Like there was, I don't think they had any traits. I'm not really sure though. Um, if someone wants to tell me how the hillocks, uh, how the mountain dwarfs were, that'd be nice. But yeah, they were just a bunch of vanilla stats, like just plus twos and aptitudes, plus ones and aptitudes, minus ones and aptitudes, minus twos and aptitudes. You basically just had human 2.0. I don't really, I don't know if that was actually the case, but from what I could see in that situation, like it was really nothing to see, honestly. Like, as, at least, but you got to understand, I suppose, from my perspective, I'm a very practical person. I don't care about anything to do with role-playing in this game. I just want to play and win a lot, because that's the goal of the game, like, in general. Um, like, I don't particularly care if they remove hillocks and replace them with mountain dwarves. It literally makes no difference to me. Uh, Bio can go off the deep end. doesn't really need to be there. It's, too ver it's very similar to Ured, so it's like, eh. Either get rid of one of them or get rid of both, or something. Like, fix one, get rid of one, it's something to do with that. Improve them, come on. Like, those two are exactly the same god. It's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, like, Mountain Dwarfs, without Mountain Dwarfs, uh, sorry, with Mountain Dwarfs in, we wouldn't have Minotaurs or Hillocks, and those two are, like, some of the best races in the game. So it's like, I kind of prefer, I, I don't know, like, which one was stronger, a Minotaur or a Mountain Dwarf? For me, it's a Minotaur, because I know how to play a Minotaur. I hold records with a Minotaur. I am greater Minotaur. I know everything about Minotaur, because they're so sick, you see. So I don't really know, I don't really understand, I don't really know if Mountain Dwarfs are actually that good, but, eh, you know, I just, I feel like it's unnecessary to, Wiglaf is like, just literally a symbol of just old stuff. It's not really that big of a deal for him to get removed. He's not... He's, like, a threat, and that's about it, really. Like, he doesn't really do much. He just kind of hates and mites himself, and then he's a dwarf. And then you kill him, and then you move on. He's not like, um, say, for example, Luis, or El Roca, uh, Sonya, Grinder, Sigmund, uh, Robin, Natasha... No, not really Natasha. What do you think? Like, you know, those kind of uniques that really make you stop and think and be like, oh, shiz, the whole combat situation just changed. Like, Cirque, uh, Nagale, kind of, but they removed her death stall, so not as much now. You know, like, those kind of guys that have, like, that one or two abilities that just make them really make you want to think. Whereas Wiglaf's, the whole thing about him is just, uh, I'm an orcish warrior, and I also can hate, haste and might myself. Oh boy, it's about as play. It's about as interesting as a uh, hillock fighter of Okawara, which though I find interesting, a lot of people who cry in favor hate. They're just like, no, I can only play Feared Chaos Knight. Come on, guys, let's be honest here. Like, <laughs> why do you care about Wiglaf if you care about if you want to play like all the interesting stuff? You like gimmicks, right? If you like gimmicks, then why do you like Wiglaf? Wiglaf is he's like the stock standard enemy. Eh. Could you could revamp him, I guess, but like, eh, it doesn't really matter. 
Um, like, I don't particularly hate Wiglaf. I actually like him a lot because he's a cool, unique from my past as well as, I guess, all the older people than myself. But, you know, it's kind of interesting to see him gone and honestly, we'll probably forget about him in like two versions. Let's be honest. Like, does, does anyone remember, um, Exactly, I can't even think of any uniques that were removed, even though I know they got removed. There used to be a lot. Huh. Francis? Did he get removed? Probably. Who knows? I don't know. Like, he's one of those uniques. Like, Francis is probably the next one to go. Maud's gone now. But Maud was actually... Yeah, Maud is also gone, so... She got merged with Urug. So now uh, Urug gets the sick weapon that Maud used to get. But Maud really didn't do much. Fred, uh, Frederick, I don't know, like, there's a lot of them, wait, which one was the, Harold, whoops, is he gone yet, I don't know, he, he might be gone soon, anyway, anyway, oh god, Jesus, so that's why I don't rant very often without a script, because I have no idea what I'm saying, but, yeah, that's like, Wiglaf got removed, um, people are mad about it, it's pretty interesting, in my opinion, so, I realize now that I had absolutely no reason to talk about that, but, nah, it's fine. So anyway, uh, to those of you that don't want to watch the Morgan analysis, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, check out the banner art, because there's new links there, and that's pretty sick. Uh, for those of you that do want to stay, um, let's take a look at this Venom mage, right? So, in terms of the flavor of the month stuff, I have a feeling that Olgreb's Toxic Radiance is going to be one of the Tippity top spells. It's got a lot of value in it. It's got a lot of um, a lot of early game, mid game value. It's mostly useful in the dungeon, which is where realistically most spells are gonna shine anyway. Like I have a feeling that it's very powerful. It's it's strong enough to almost guarantee you a first rune. It's effective in um, in shoals, which I haven't I didn't get to use. Uh, it's effective in, oh, yeah, effective in Shoals and Spider, so those two are really uh, weak against it. Obviously it's bad in Swamp and Snake because of all the poison-resistant enemies, but it's still really good because it clears Dungeon very efficiently, uh, and Lair, and also Orc, which is really cool. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about is like Hydras, Black Mambas, uh, Spiny Toads, and Skeleton Knights, or Warriors. Like, those guys, like, are poise and do a lot of damage, and you need to be scared of them, but basically the spell works on every other enemy, and it's pretty sick. Uh, so, that's what we learned in today's, in, in this week's series, I guess. Uh, in regards to this character itself, um, it's pretty bog-standard mage. Not really any particularly special things about him, other than really good spells, and a nice set of, like, uh, you know, defenses and items. The only interesting thing, I think, decision-wise from me, is the fact that, oh, well, there are a couple, but one of the interesting ones is that we didn't get a lot of resistances. Um, that was pretty weird about this game. Um, and the decision-making for me to go shields was also kind of cool, I guess. I didn't really look for a buckler. I went for a shield, just because I felt like I needed more resistances. I didn't, uh, sorry, more defense. I didn't even, like, get to train, I don't think I got to train my I didn't, my shield up to 15 anyway, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> so I was just running around with like a slight malice uh, on spell casting, But it didn't even matter because Deep Elves are so damn good at uh, magery. So if anyone wants to look at like how a standard mage like performs, then this, this character is probably a good example, I guess. Um, in particular, I played quite, uh, quite well in regards to uh, like just being careful. I was a lot more careful than I usually am. Uh, probably because I haven't played for so long that it feels a bit weird to win a game. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to have to play another melee after this just to get myself back in the groove of winning because it doesn't feel like I'm winning at this point. I don't even know how I won this character, to be honest. Just kind of guessing. Uh, anyway, let's get started looking at the stats. So first things first, AC, EV, 24-24. 48 average stats is not that bad. It's pretty good for a mage. Um, Might have preferred a bit more... Uh, evade, but other than that, it's pretty decent. If I had about 24-30, I'd say that this character was pretty much melee, so it is a very good 
uh, mix of stats. 24 AC is really quite rare on a uh, on a deep elf. You usually expect a robe or something, but or at least in regards to like newer players, I guess more experienced players would pick up a swamp dragon armor like myself, just because they're more aware of how the spell casting works and they don't really care for the majory um, like image. I guess swamp dragon armor is fine. Uh, in regards to resistances, just the bog standard R fire three. Uh, Three pips and R poise. The scary things today were no R elec, no R corrode, no R cold, no C invis, and low stealth. Did get a lot of MR, that was kind of cool. I don't know where the hell we got it other than the hat, but I think it's just natural regen. Uh, sorry, MR. Um, yeah, so a real lack of resistances. I didn't get R cold or R elec at all. I had the robe of clouds, but I wasn't going to give up 12 AC for a swamp, uh, for R elec anyway. Uh, in regards to items, pretty bog standard. Swamp Dragon Armor is the most unusual of the lot. Uh, but honestly, Swamp Dragon Armor is fine for mages. Generally, mages like to stick with uh, robes or steam dragon armor. Mostly robes, because A, you can get robes of resistance, with, which provide RF+, plus and RC+, plus, which is really good. And B, it, in, it doesn't hinder spell casting, because it doesn't have an encumbrance rating. So it's quite a good... You know, uh, it's a it's a good piece of clothing for a mage, but honestly, I prefer more. If you got if I got protection like plus four plus five protection, I probably would consider going for a robe instead of going for a uh, swamp dragon armor. But at the time, I really needed that extra AC to keep myself alive. Uh, everything else is pretty much bog standard. Um, the amulet of magic regen is pretty telling of how I like to play the game. Uh, magic regen is basically regen for mages, and that's why it's so damn good. It did cost us a bit of hunger, but that's fine, like, completely. So, as you can see, we ended up with plenty of food, especially after Vault 5. Uh, ring of Magical Power is a pretty interesting and weird choice for a ring. It either indicates that I picked Ring of Power on purpose, or that I picked uh, it because there was nothing better. And it was kind of a mix of both. I didn't have a lot of... I, I like having extra mana, and I also kind of felt like there were not really any good rings. Um... So I just kept it on. The ring keg vow, uh, so the RF++ ring was pretty much just there for orbs of fire, but it turned out to be pretty good anyway. Uh, it really didn't have much other than the RF++, but it was eh. Like, that's literally all it was. All the other ones were completely useless. Uh, our poise we already had from the Swamp Dragon armor. Corrode was actually bad for us, obviously. Fly was never used, and never going to be used. Strength plus two does nothing for us, so it's eh. Uh, in regards to our other rings, yeah, we just got wizardry and protection from magic, so we actually had a lot less jewelry than we normally get, which is pretty sad. Staff of Fire provides us with an extra pip of RF, also boosts our Bolt of Fire uh, spell damage, which is pretty good. Oops. Uh, in regards to the wands and stuff, we got every single good wand, which is really nice, and plenty of teleport. Plenty of uh, hasting and heal wounds, which is good. Um, the extra recharging on the hasting pretty much won us the game. Hasting was incredible, and it is incredible for mages. Basically, doubles your damage output by like. It doubles your damage output, makes it so that you can kite stuff because you're ranged, and it just basically turns you into a god. Uh, haste is good on melee, but it's even better on mages, if that makes sense. Um, like, it's really damn good. Uh, I don't know, it's just amazing. It's hard to say. Anyway, in regards to potions, uh, we had plenty. That's good. Uh, not a lot of haste, actually. Not a lot of... Yeah, not a lot of haste. That's more, probably the most indicative thing. I either used a lot of haste, or I just didn't have any to start with. And I also had um, evocables, which is quite cool, I think. Getting a bit of evocables is always nice. I ended up using a couple of them a couple of times. Even the Vile of Floods used in Zot 5, just to Oh, sorry, on the orb run, just to get rid of that ghost moth. In terms of the uh, skills, I accidentally turned Conjurations on for too long, so it's at 26.7. Generally, it wouldn't be that high. It's about 23, I think. Fighting would normally be about 20-something. Um, it's a bit low today, but I felt like I was strong enough to not worry about it. Obviously, a lot of dodging because of the plus 2 from Deep Elf. Uh, a little bit less armor, even though I should have more technically. But I just didn't feel like I needed it, uh, because I was training shields as well. Uh, shields hasn't even been got hasn't even gotten up to uh, Mindalay yet or 
minware. I don't know what to, how to say it, but that's fine. 8.3 in charm is probably the result of overtraining because, uh, like, deep elves get like plus 4 to it and it's ridiculously fast. Summonings probably got trained for some, probably for, um, Spellforge Servitor. Fire Magic just trained for Bolt of Fire. Probably should have had more Fire Magic in all honesty. Um, I'm surprised I had so little. Poison Magic was from the background start and also for Ogreb's Toxic Radiance. And 5 Evocations, just a smidge too. Give our Lamp of Fire and Sack of Spiders and Violet Quads a little bit of a kick. The Fan of Gales kind of sucks at low evoke, so I wouldn't really do it again. In regards to spells, we got a couple. Spellforge Servitor was like basically our main damage spell uh, in regards to being efficient. Um, the only times I didn't cast it was when I was trying to use Poison Arrow, which was... Uh, mostly, I used it like without explaining it, but I was trying to avoid the noise that Spellforge Servitor would make because it shoots like orbs of destruction and fireballs, which are really loud spells. And I was trying not to attract everyone, so I used Poison Arrow instead of getting the spell forged, even though it gave me more mana efficiency. Poison Arrow, on the by the way, is a really good spell. Um, it's a, pretty much an iron shot, but it does more against. It's better against living um, non-poison resist uh, immune enemies, and worse against undead, obviously. But it still functions kind of in the same way as iron shot. Has better range as well, which is why I like it. Um, I wasn't really sure which one I'd pick. Mystic Blast was never really used past the late game, uh, past like the second rune. It wasn't. It doesn't do enough damage to justify its place. I probably would have forgotten that one uh, with Amnesia. Bolt of Fire, obvious MVP, um, given that it's an amazing spell. It's very basic, very strong, just AoE damage, and it's a lot of damage. Very high damage. I like it. Toxic Radiance, the uh, the shining new star of the cast, uh, proved itself very powerful in the early game. Also very powerful in the... Like, for the first two videos, I think, I was using it almost exclusively. It was that good. Uh, Fireball, an obvious, uh, well-rounded spell. Only, only downside is that it's loud, but it comes with a very nice way to aim. Um, hits in a blossom, kind of, and that's really cool. Iskenderun's Battlesphere, uh, that's an obvious early game, mid game kind of good thing. Makes your spells more efficient, as is the way of Iskenderun. Um, Passage of Galubria, I never actually used, but it was a panic button that I wanted. Uh, in case of great danger, just Passage of Galubria away from stuff. Regen, just picked up because I could. Apportation's always good because it just lets me snatch stuff. Orb Destruction, another MVP. Uh, great. Long range, irresistible damage, and it can't miss. It, sorry, if it doesn't hit into a wall, it doesn't miss ever. So if you hit a guy, you hit him for sure. He can't dodge it. It's really sick, uh, and it does a lot of damage. Repel missiles, an obvious choice. Uh, Repel missiles and blink, both core to the uh, mage like arsenal. Very defensive utility spells. Very powerful because repel missiles protects your squishy caster from. Yaktor bolts and fire bolts, cold bolts, whatever, what have you. Delayed fireball, just a nice panic button. Uh, you saw me use it a couple of times just to get that instant damage. Very powerful spell. And anime skeleton, another amazing spell. Uh, this one was freaking awesome, uh, obviously. Turned all my butchers into allies, and that was really sick. One of the better spells. Overall, all my spells were like pretty much top tier. I didn't pick up, I didn't have to pick up any. Um, any like second tier weaker spells pretty much everything i've gotten from the start was like really good so i was very lucky in that regard uh yeah pretty much like i don't remember picking up a single spell that was like really crap um all of them were pretty decent uh let's go over to the action table and just quickly take a look at what was going on uh this is the skilling you can pause it if you want to take a look if you want to use this as a reference as always Note that the Conjurations was uh, was trained by accident, pretty much. I wouldn't have trained it past level 23 most of the time. Uh, in regards to the actions, then, let's move on. Uh, a bit of Daggery at the beginning. A lot of Sting being used. Uh, mephitic Cloud starting to get used. Surprisingly, a lot less Mephitic Cloud than I'm used to. Uh, I usually use a lot more. Ogrub's Toxic Radiance was pretty sick. As you can see, I used it pretty consistently throughout the game. Uh... The reasons why I didn't have to use it as much is because it's not a single cast thing. 
Uh, you can cost it and leave it on and move around and do stuff while you poison everything around you. Uh, so that really explains the low power. But it, uh, sorry, the low number of actions taken using it. But it was pretty damn good. A lot of flailing, surprisingly. Uh, Flail of Protection was my main squeeze for the whole game. Uh, up until I got the Staff of Fire and I was like, eh, I guess I'll move on to that. Other spells include uh, Venom Bolt, which was quickly forgotten in favor of Fire Bolt. Uh, Fire Bolt, which was pretty much used consistently. Skendron's Mystic Blast, which was used consistently as well. In, uh, it's a little bit less loud than Fire Bolt, I believe, and it does come with the upside of having being able to be shot at in melee range uh, rather than Fire Bolt, which needs probably one space or two uh, to be fully effective without hitting yourself. Sticky Flame was used like 25 times, not a lot. Just got me over that hump, that mid-game lair hump, where um, you need to get rid of like Black Mambas and other stuff. Uh, Conjure Flame was useless. Anime Skeleton used 608 times. Every single Butcher, like I said, turned into an ally. Great spell. Uh, Skinner's Battle Sphere used a couple of times, not that much though. Uh, mostly with Magic Dart and sometimes in, when I needed that extra bit of damage. Bolt of Fire and Poison Arrow, as I said before, MVPs. Used like almost one to two thousand a piece. Uh, very powerful spells, obviously. Blade Fireball actually used a lot more than I usually do. I usually don't use it more than once a game, but I apparently found seven times where it was useful. Uh, Orb Destruction used ninety six times, mostly to kill stuff at very far range. Because of the Hermit, um, Orb Destruction is slightly less amazing because it's not comparative to Bolt of Fire and Poison Arrow. The ranges are similar. Especially because all the destruction now dissipates out of LOS. Uh, it's actually just easier to use Bolt of Fire and Poison Arrow at max range rather than waiting a couple of turns for all the destruction. But there were still uses for it, such as killing Liches, which are resistant to fire and immune to poison. It's very powerful anyway. Uh, poison Cloud was used slightly before we removed it for all grabs. Repel Missiles always used, Blink always used, Regen always used. Skullforge Servitor picked up in the late game and used quite a bit, 74 times is a lot of times. Uh, Apportation used a bit. Oh, wait, sorry, Release, Release Delayed Fireball is the Fireball, I used it four times. Right, I got purged a lot. Uh, in regards to everything else, it's pretty bog standard. Uh, used my Evocables about 20 times total, which is pretty good. Um, generally see that much use from them uh, because of the EXP gate thing. Uh, you have to wait until they get back to recharge mode. In regards to the armors, we got robes in the early game, moved to Steam Dragon Armor for a bit, and then moved on to Swamp Dragon Armor. As you can see, there's a sub, um, an astoundingly low amount of dodges and blocks. Uh, only about 2k dodges and a little bit of deflection from the buckler. Um, that's because you try not to get hit as a mage, so a lot of enemies you'll kill before they even touch you, which is different to say. I guess this Ogre Arcane Marksman, where you'd see a casual 7,000 dodges and, like, I don't know, a good 3,000, uh, like, blocks on top of that. Like, here you see, like, barely 4k, like, total def- uh, not even 4k, like, 3k something, total, uh, defensive actions. Uh, 420 shields, that's cool. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about the- the best I can do for a mock-up of this character. Um, probably look forward to a shorter guide later in the day or tomorrow. Uh, I might make a bit of a spell spell series, I guess. Just show people what's up. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.